I want to do some rapid fire questions. Single answers, fun yes. stuff. All right? No thinking? Yes, no <laughs> thinking. Stream of consciousness. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Here we go. Favorite race course of all time? Uh, Aspergaver. Awesome. Favorite post race meal? Ooh. Uh, New Belgian triple. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next question. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I like to drink my, my meal. Yeah. Um, oh, shit. Panic yeah. cooking. <laughs> you know, any, any food really will do. Anything that is put in front of you that is preferably dead, right? <laughs> Birthplace. Where were you born? Uh, went to Delaware. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and where did you and Mark come from? New Zealand. Awesome. Disc brakes, yes or no? Mark, first. Across? Come on! Never. Never. No. Never. No. This is why you're professing your love to me. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the ultimate close your eyes, quick fire questions. I'm gonna I'm gonna say some names to you. The first thing that comes to mind. Hafka Kupfernagel. Oh, pain in the ass. Marianne Voss. Fast as hell. Daphne van der Brandt. Great sand rider. Katie Compton. Um, amazingly good at everything. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Katie Compton and Mark Lane. Now, we're going to turn it over to you guys. This thing has a tether on it, but I think we can all sort of hear your voices. What does the F of KFC stand for? <laughs> the family of oh, yeah. Fast, but I'll tell you later. That's <laughs> not what it said on the website. <laughs> F in, F I N, there we go. There. Yeah. Just curious. So, as far as uh, racing in snow goes, what are you wearing on your feet? Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, you pretty much just have cold feet. like. Um, there's really no way around it. You just, you put up with it. Yeah, because obviously you can't wear booties. Um, it's cold. Um, I've tried the kind of winter riding shoes, and sometimes they work too. Like in Kansas City a couple years ago, it was really snowy. I used the uh, winter riding shoes, which helped a ton. But there's a lot, not a lot of flexibility, so running the stairs, you have to change your running style slightly. Um, Oh yeah, that's right. We'll give you the secret. Mark puts um, a li liquid electrical tape on my shoes in the winter, so it keeps some liquid electrical tape. It's like, have you ever been in like the plane, like the bathroom in the plane, where they fill the holes with yes. rubber sealant? Mm -hmm. That stuff, put where on you, your shoes. So where do you apply it? Just on all the vents you and on the leather, mesh. over the mesh. You that way. Brush. Oh, that's the brush, or is mm -hmm. it? Comes in a brush. Comes in a brush. Uh, go down to Home Depot, it's made by 3M in the electrical mm -hmm. section. Comes in a little can. You can get mm -hmm. it flat and red. And whatever. it's not perfect, but it keeps your feet a little bit warmer, a little bit drier for a little bit longer. So those shoes will stay like that, so you can count on those shoes being. Yeah, it, it wears off eventually just from the running kind of breaks, but you can, you, can, you, can, you can peel it off pretty easily. You definitely want to peel it off when, when the summer comes around because it gets hot. So if it's still in your shoes, start peeling. And it's still in my shoes when I did break epic and, and some of those days are pretty heavy as it is. So. But you can peel it off, you just scratch yeah. it off. Yeah. From, it's, from a color standpoint, did it make it in white? <laughs> <laughs> it is in black. Although I did see that hot pink on the plane, so awesome. Do some searching. Awesome for you. If I put that on my shoes tomorrow, I can avoid it. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> then it get fat, aerodynamic, the wind just goes right through. Home Depot closes at night, so. We'll <laughs> be done by then. Uh, what is the thing you learned in Europe in the past couple of years that you wish you had known um, like long ago in your racing career? Oh, wow. Or just not like the thing, but like something, like just for the joy of learning it. Um, I think learning how to run lower tire pressure. That's probably the most important thing. And then tire selection too, and how important that is. Um, it's different. And then learning that stuff that works in Belgium doesn't work in the US, and stuff that works in the US doesn't work in Belgium. There's really not much overlap, and you have to learn two different ways of racing. Two different race setups, tire setups, bike setups. It's different, and so I figured, oh, I learned this in Belgium, it's gonna work in the US, and I tried, I'm like, oh, that, 
was stupid. <laughs> that didn't work. So I think that was probably the, the biggest. Another side to the sport that like we in the US didn't even think about. Yeah, it's different. And same thing with Belgians. Belgians don't think about it. They'll come over here and ride, you know, twenty pounds of pressure in the tires when you need twenty seven on this course. But they're like, oh, that's too high. They wouldn't even think out of the box and think, well, it's a fast course, so thirty pounds is fine. They would think twenty is high. So you kind of have to learn the different tire pressures and different demands of the courses. Katie, okay, it's been a couple of years since I've seen you race, but is, are there any elite women who ride in the drops as much as you? And are, is that a style that you developed in track, or can you explain? Um, I'm not. I've just been more comfortable in the drops for the most part. Um, I feel like I have more control, but uh, lately I've actually been riding on the hoods quite a bit. It kind of just depends on the course. Um, it depends how comfortable I feel on the bike that day. If my flexibility is good, I can run the, the drops a little bit more. Is there more, more fatigue riding on the, on, in the drops for your back or your lower back? No, it's, it's usually fine. It's usually a breathing thing. I feel like I can breathe better if I can sit up a little bit more and uh, um, be a little higher. But um, I think Allison Dunlap, she rides in the drops quite a bit too. You'll notice both riders kind of set their bikes up so they can ride comfortably in the drops when there's a handlebar height. So they yeah. put them up a little bit? Yeah. My, yeah, my handlebars are a little higher than most people's, but that's just the way I'm more comfortable. So, and I can ride in the drops comfortably too. So that's why I like to do it. So Mark, do you race over there at all? When you're not working, you're, you're in on uh, No, I don't. I'm just too busy. Uh, that and, you know, my job is to look after Katie. Right. And my job is not to go out and be a master's hero. I can do that. On and it's a full time job. <laughs> 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 it's a full time job. 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 It's as he's working on my bikes from like 10 o'clock in the morning to like after dinner and still going blue and tires, he's like, God, you're high maintenance. <laughs> just like all day, just looks after my stuff. Um, mostly washing bikes and taking care of bikes because every single time we ride in Belgium, he's got to come back and pretty much wash everything and get all the sand out and get all the grit out and then take a hair dryer to the bike because nothing dries in Belgium. So you can't leave the chain wet, it'll rust. So you have to dry off the tires, dry off the bike, dry off the handlebar tape. It's and you got four bikes. It's a lot of work. So he's busy doing that all day. And then do prep work for the next race as well. So no, I never get a chance to race. And, just, and then um, I, you know, act as Katie's training partner. So uh, I mean, I'm glad you don't race here as much as you do. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the pleasure of racing. <laughs> Well, the funny thing is, it's like when he's in good shape, he's really fast. Yeah. But cross season, it just you get sorry, you get slower and slower. <laughs> wow, I think we have a question over here. Um, I think my first one I raced uh, when I was probably ten or eleven. I think I won a race. I actually don't quite remember. I still have the five dollars I won for the first time I got prize money, and I, I was young. I just don't remember what race it was, but it was on the road. Probably crit. Guessing. Yeah, 